Okay, let's have a little talk about margin and trade financing. Two separate things. We're going to cover those in a little bit more depth because this is kind of the the real key to understanding the difference between you know the different ways that you can express a view um, on a specific market. So, what is margin? So, margin is 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 fundamentally the deposit that you need to fund a trade and it's expressed as a percentage of the notional value so we talked about the notional value um in a in, a, in an earlier slide but let's look at it again so 10 cfds uh and we're buying those at uh six five four zero point five this could be the FTSE. this could be anything in particular um so the notional value of that is sixty five thousand four hundred and five pounds um of course this is the FTSE because we're in pounds if it was the, the dax then we'd be in euros and if it was the dow would be in dollars so the FTSE is six thousand five hundred and forty pounds fifty p and of course that is multiplied by 10 giving us the notional value of that position so no broker is going to say hey give me 65 grand please for this position um, they're going to say, listen, this is the FTSE. We kind of know that it's not going to halve overnight. Uh, we kind of know that how it moves, even under extreme conditions. Um, so we're pretty comfortable. And also, we know a lot of people are long, a lot of people are short. So we're reasonably hedged. Uh, our exposure is, even though we're a good broker, is going to put that in the underlying and be neutral for you. Um, so they basically say, okay, you know what? You know what, uh, Mr. Trader or Mrs. Trader? Um, we are quite happy for you to uh, give us 1% of the notional value as a margin requirement. So this basically means how much they require to, for you to have in your account to open this position, to fund uh, this bet. Um, actually, really, you know, you'd probably, this is more likely a trade than a bet is the best way of putting it. If you were spread betting, it would be a bet. But if you're CFD trading, it's going to be a trade. Um so the money required in your account to fund this trade is going to be 1% of that, which is going to be £654.10. Pretty simple uh, to understand in terms of that's how much the initial margin is. We've got some differences in margins we'll go into in a second. But what I want to talk about is you know, the difference in, in margin percentages and kind of why the brokers come up with that. So it's, it's all based on... Um, do you know how much the they expect the underlying moves? You know, example, if you're trading um, a stock, a specific aggressive tech stock, it's not unusual for that thing to be moving, you know, five percent in a day, six percent, seven percent in a day, because that's just what is fueling it. It's kind of a story stock, whatever it may be, and so you're going to have a higher margin on that. It's going to be something like twenty-five percent, may even be fifty percent. It may even, on some instances, if you've got a stock that's got earnings, which which may cause the the actual asset the underlying asset to gap dramatically they might even say you know what sorry you, you've got to put the full amount up because you know this thing's aggressive um it's got a court ruling coming up or something you know they're just trying to protect you or they're trying to protect themselves and they're trying to protect you as well they don't want you um having to pay uh, you know a massive debt because you've you've over margined yourself and then again you know they they don't want to be settled with saddled with the exposure so you know things like currencies forex pairs and what have you they're going to be as low as you know 0.5 percent even lower now this is this may change and it is subject to change so you've got to keep an eye out um with your broker and with your regulators and it depends on which country you're trading from that kind of thing but in the uk um you know it's pretty similar for a lot of the brokers you know if currency they know that the notional value is quite high it appears quite high you know it doesn't, it's not a lot to carry a hundred grand's worth of currency um and because a currency generally isn't going to move 10 percent in the night generally okay there's a caveat so that sometimes it does happen but generally speaking so they require you to put up a little bit less and the same in a day you know that the percentage move in a day isn't going to be that high so they they kind of grade it on that they grade it on the total risk and the total exposure so your indices your fx and you and most of your commodities uh, are going to be sort of in the range of 0.5% to 2% of the notional value. Um, sometimes, you know, crude oil has been very, very active and you've had to pay an awful lot to trade that, um, you know, back when we had it you know, rallying hard and then falling off that cliff. 
if you were round and about trading the uh, the markets during those times. And then natural gas as well, very, very volatile, but it's doing 5% days. Of course, they will just swing the, the margin up, requirement up and say, listen, you're going to have to stump up. You want to play this game. You've got to put a little bit more deposit up because this thing is moving. So that's generally what happens. Now, it's going to be higher on shares, um, as I say, you know, 5%, 25%. You may get lower on some of the kind of, the shares that trade a little bit more like an index, like uh, you know Vodafone, very very slow, loads of volume there, um, a kind of steady business that has no surprises as such. Um, you know, been going for years. It's not like a, you know a kind of Tesla thing or a Netflix thing where it's a new thing and it's either an all or nothing. Um, you know, they're they're going to give you a little bit a little bit more um, more leeway, but perhaps not as much as as I say, the FX indices or commodities. And then, as I say, going right up to 25% or even higher if there's something that is considered extreme value. So you've got to remember that that is the volatile volatility perspective, a volatility perspective, but the notional is also lower for the same relative exposure. You know, if you've got um, 25 grand's worth of stock, um, that's a bigger, much bigger position than 25,000 dollars for example if you're buying um your us dollar against the euro you know that's not a big position at all and the day's move isn't gonna isn't really gonna make you an awful lot of money whereas twenty five thousand you know pounds worth of stock or twenty five dollars worth of you know stock that moves five percent you know that's twelve twelve uh, twelve hundred and fifty uh, dollars so they 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 adjusted to suit and the notional's lower but you get the kind of the same relative exposure so just look at that and, and keep an eye on that